too. A local blues legend known worldwide for his booming voice died today of emphysema. Robert H. Baum Ferguson spent most of his life in Cincinnati. And as Fox 19's Chris Shaw reports, he made a name for his music and the city. With a voice like his that just exploded on stage, you know why people called him H-Bomb. He was the last original performing U.S. blues shouter. He was the last. There's no one after H-Bomb. So his loss, the loss today is a loss to the blues community as a whole. John Parker and Jerry Adams just finished a documentary on Ferguson's life. They found out Sunday morning the 77-year-old who had been fighting emphysema for years finally succumbed to it. He made the statement he said uh, he and he said I'm going to keep playing until I die and God bless him he did Ferguson's entire life was music the South Carolina native had his first gold record at 23 he was a staple on the blues circuit and a regular at places like the Apollo Theater he came to Cincinnati in the late 50s the heyday of the blues here and called the city his home for the rest of his life Known for his aggressive style of playing piano almost as much as his voice, Ferguson had a wit that outdid both. In his whole career, he was an entertainer, but as a person, he was an entertainer. I mean, dinner at H-Bombs, you know, was a treat. I mean, that was like dinner in a show. <laughs> For all the success he had as a young man, the high point of his career may have been in 1992. At a blues festival in Chicago, he was such a hit, the crowd literally would not let him stop playing. Ferguson is survived by his wife and a son, and they're inviting fans to the Garden Park Unity Church Thursday at 7. In true H-bomb form, it's not being called a funeral, it's a memorial celebration. Tricia.